food is pretty much almost completely eaten, but this is what we got for Chinese New Year. I did buy this yesterday, so um, it's lasted us two days. So we got the Shanghai noodle, the Ifu noodles, this is the chicken and salted fish fried rice, and we also got this dish which is new to us um, in terms of takeaway, and it is the fried sticky rice. We really really like this, so I think this is going to be the lineup for the next little while when we order Chinese food. I bought a Chinese New Year cake from Mashin Bakery, and this is the first time I've bought one of these to have at home. So yesterday we ate this straight out of the container and I was like, I don't remember it being like this. I had just read something quickly online that says that you can either pan fry it or eat it at room temperature. And I was like, well, I don't really feel like pan frying it. So I'm just gonna cut a piece and eat it. And it was not good. It was really hard and like the texture was really weird and there was no flavor. So I was like, oh. So then I looked it up some more after that disappointment and you really should pan fry this. It's so much better. Here are the pieces I've pan fried for hubby and me. We're each gonna have six pieces. And I bought these awesome dishes from um, the outer layer when I was doing Christmas shopping for hubby. I love these dishes so, so much. There are six of them and they're all little dogs. So the texture really changes when you pan fry this stuff. It becomes really gooey and delicious. And then the outside gets crispy, a little bit crispy, from the cast iron skillet. So I am super excited now about eating these. I actually had some for breakfast as well because I wanted to try out the pan frying right away. And I probably should spread these out more onto a plate because they do start to stick to each other. But it's okay, it's just for me and hubby, so we can just pull them apart. Um, yeah, so six each. Yummy, yummy. And Happy New Year to those of you who celebrate the Lunar New Year. And Happy Valentine's Day. Hubby and I got more Japanese food to celebrate today. We went back to Jabistro because we really, really love their $9.99 sushi bowls. And we also got this aburi sushi platter. It's got the salmon aburi sushi, the prawn one, and also the mackerel one. I actually don't really love mackerel because it usually has a fishy flavor, but we decided to get this because it was on special. Hubby got us some Valentine's Day treats from Ida's Cookies and they're so pretty. So these look like shortbread cookies, but they're a bunch of different colors. And then look at these ones. So these look like macaron, but they are also shortbread cookies. They're so cute. Hubby chose the signature nuts variety of the shortbread, but it came with the nut-free shortbread description. So we went onto the website to look at the flavors and from top to bottom, we have roasted sesame, sounds delicious, nuts toffee crunch, matcha almond, and rosemary cashew. These flavors sound so good. We decided to try the rosemary cashew flavor first. It smells really good. Mmm. Yummy. Uh oh, what was that? Is it cold? It's delicious. Oh, good. I feel like this smells like toffee, but I'm pretty sure it's a cashew one. Is it a cashew mm -hmm. on top? I kind of taste the rosemary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really yummy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Javi and I got more Japanese food for dinner. We just got some maki rolls. I got the avocado and the inari and avocado. And then Javi got the salmon and cream cheese roll. And then the other one is a more fancy one. I think it's called the kibo roll. 
So we're gonna have this very light dinner. I am going to be starting my 30 days to spring deep cleaning challenge tomorrow, which means that as of tomorrow, we only have 30 days until the first day of spring. We had a big snowfall here in Toronto. I think it was Monday night leading into Tuesday. So there is tons of snow on the ground. And my friend tells me that we're going to have another big snowfall tomorrow. So lots of white stuff now has become gray and brown slush in downtown Toronto, but I'm still going for my daily walk and it actually feels really good. I just dress warmly, bundle up, but not too much because then I start to sweat. So it has to be like just the right amount of clothing and layers, but um, so far so good. It's been um, really nice and restorative to go for my daily walk even though it is really chilly out. I'm really excited for the cleaning challenge, oddly excited because um, I normally don't like cleaning but there are a lot of pockets in the condo especially in the kitchen that um, need a little sprucing up so I'm going to be starting as I did last time in the bedroom spending around like five or six days in the bedroom. I'm hoping it won't be as time consuming and intensive as last year because I really just did this a year ago so I'm hoping there won't be as many scuffs on the walls that I need to scrub at. I remember the bedroom not being too bad it's really um, when we get to the locker and pulling out the appliances and the wall unit because we have such a big wall unit behind me here the balcony also takes a really long time and washing the windows the windows were so dirty last year and i'm hoping um they'll be a lot better this year because before last year i didn't really clean the windows at all those are really the areas that take all day i'm glad we have a small condo because in 30 days i can do a pretty thorough job cleaning it all i am wearing that she in velvet jacket and i really love this jacket haven't worn it in a bit I wore it a few times right after I got it, but I kind of forgot about it. I was wearing my sweaters a lot, my cashmere a lot because it's been really chilly. And I pulled this out today and I love it. I'm just wearing it with a simple long sleeve um, shirt, like a ribbed shirt. And um, I really like this combination of like a casual shirt, as I mentioned, with a nicer, like more luxurious fabric. So I'm enjoying the outfit I have on today. I'm feeling pretty good today. I've been full of energy lately. I was talking to my friend yesterday and I was telling her that I think it's because I'm taking ginseng. So I decided that every year hubby and I would take around like 30 days of ginseng. We use the Atomy ginseng which comes in like the little tube with the granules inside. I just pour the tube of granules directly into my mouth and I chew on the granules. Not sweet, it's got that bitter ginseng flavor, but I actually don't mind it. I quite enjoy the taste of ginseng, even when it's not candy. So I'll have that every morning. We're getting towards the end of the ginseng, so I'll see after we finish whether um, I still have the same level of energy that I do now, but I've got tons of energy. I wake up between 5 and 6.30 every Every morning now some days I just wake up at 5 for no apparent reason even though I haven't slept all that early I usually sleep at 11 or 12 that's kind of been my routine lately where I don't get as much sleep as I normally do so this is very strange I'm still drinking my one caffeinated tea in the morning the only thing I can pinpoint that has changed is um, the ginseng so we'll see what happens when we run out I think we have like a few more days remaining and I'm not gonna buy more until next year or towards the end of this year because um, ginseng is something you're supposed to cycle on and off of otherwise it loses its effectiveness and I figured that because um, Korean ginseng is so warming it would be good to take in the winter time so that's why I decided on taking it once a year in the winter for 30 days and then um, waiting until the following winter to take it I don't want to take too too much by way of supplements I think you can tell I have a lot of energy I feel like I'm bouncing off the walls so I'm gonna try to do a bit of work um, work for the writing studio as well as for my book 
I'm going to research some investments because I have been very passionate about that lately. I'm not dabbling in too many risky things and I have um, a strategy that I'm sticking to, but I'm still really enjoying the um, research process of like looking into different companies, their financial statements, and also looking into ETFs and their various holdings and such and just comparing them. So that has been a um, fun little distraction for me but I am still getting the stuff done that I want to get done and I'm still um, taking a lot of time for my morning routine and self-care and the like. It is day one of the 30 days to spring tidying challenge. I'm gonna be starting in the bedroom with my side of the closet. It'll be nice to wipe the shelves down and tidy up a little bit, get some vacuuming done. I'm hoping to um, finish within maybe like half an hour or so. I'm hoping it'll only take around 20 minutes. I actually don't think I'm gonna do the top shelves here because they are quite clean. Even last year when I did those shelves, there wasn't any dust on them at all. Maybe it's because I rotate my clothing every season. So when that happens, when I'm rotating the clothing, the dust kind of shifts and goes onto the floor. So I think I'm not gonna do the top shelf. Hey everyone, welcome to a snowy Friday in Toronto. It is day two of the 30 days to spring deep cleaning challenge. And I'm gonna be doing my hubby side of the closet today. Yesterday went very well. I was able to do my side of the closet in about 20 minutes. So it was really, really quick and easy, mainly because I had done the deep cleaning last year and there were really no scuff marks or any gummy bits I had to remove. There was some like gummy glue type substance on um, the drawers last year. I think it was from when they were in Installed and um, it took a long time to scrape all of that off but since I had done it last year this year only really involved me taking stuff off the bottom shelves and wiping them down taking out everything in this space here clothing that's hung up as well I have some slippers and such in the bottom there was a lot of dust that had accumulated in the bottom but um, it was really easy I just vacuumed it up I wiped the baseboards I mopped the floor with um, a rag and then I just put everything back and it it was really quick and easy. I was a bit of an overachiever yesterday and I also cleaned the locker. This was non-intentional but I had to step away from the condo for a little bit because we had um, the internet person come in. We were having trouble with our internet access in the condo and it turns out there was something that needed to be spliced and reset. The technician came in the afternoon but they have a policy during COVID where they'll only come into the home if there's one other person there. So I took Lulu and went down to the locker. While I was waiting I I decided to go ahead and dig out a puzzle. I'm not gonna start this yet. I'm gonna do it after I'm done cleaning, of course, because this is going to take up a lot of space on the ground, but this is a 3000 piece puzzle that I've had for ages. It's not even opened yet, and I'm really excited to get working on this. So this will be a spring project for me, but the puzzle was in the back of the locker, so I went ahead and I took everything out. And since I was taking everything out, I reorganized some stuff, I put some stuff away, and um, I'm feeling pretty good about the way the locker is organized right now. So I'm checking that off of my cleaning list, but let me go ahead and get started. I have a really kind of like jam packed day today with um, a whole bunch of different coffee sessions and meetings and things I wanna get done throughout the day. So I'm hoping I can do hubby side of the closet in maybe like two half hour time slots and then I'll be in good shape for the rest of the day. It is Monday again and it has been quite a busy day. It's only coming upon 1 p.m. but um, I've been up since 5 and I've been doing lots today. I haven't done my cleaning yet today but I only have a little bit to do today because um, I actually got ahead yesterday. So hubby and I cleaned together yesterday. We cleaned while listening to a podcast. He did his bedside table which was great because he's got lots of stuff squirreled away in there so he went through the drawers and cleared them out. He got rid of some stuff, but kept the majority of um, the things that he had tucked away. But it was still nice because um, I didn't have to do it. He ended up doing his side. I did my side, which was super quick and easy. We also changed the bed sheets. I took the um, stuff out from under the bed and I vacuumed under there and I wiped the floor that's under there. 
So it was very, very productive. Saturday was a very light day. I just cleaned one tiny corner of the bedroom where the shredder is because we don't have a lot of space in the condo. So the shredder is actually in the bedroom. I had emptied out the shredder a while ago. So I basically just had to wipe it down. And then I cleaned the baseboards and the wall behind the shredder and I vacuumed that little corner. So this weekend was pretty productive. I had a light day on Saturday and then a heavier day yesterday, but I'm probably two days ahead right now in terms of my cleaning and it's been very smooth so far. Hubby's side of the closet wasn't as smooth. It took probably double the time that my side took just because his side isn't kept as tidy and again, he likes to squirrel things away that aren't clothes into his side of the closet. So I found lots of empty boxes and old manuals and just like odds and ends, bits and bobs. But I tried not to go through anything or rearrange anything. I just basically took the stuff off the shelves and I wiped the shelves down and then I just tried to put everything back, but a little bit neater. I just refolded a lot of things. And um, yeah, it was pretty interesting seeing the juxtaposition of how easy, quick and easy my side was because I keep things pretty neat and tidy now with the Colmarie method of storage and then his side which is not super chaotic or anything like that but it's just not as organized so it took a bit more time to sort through everything and then yesterday when we were cleaning together his side took so much longer even though I did my side as well as under the bed I also um cleaned the barn door I cleaned the picture frames that are on top of the bed I cleaned more areas but it took less time to the point that I was done and he was still sorting through his stuff so I just like sat on the bed and surfed the internet while listening to the podcast and just like keeping him company it's only day five of my 30 days to spring deep cleaning challenge but I would say I've already learned what a difference the tidying made, the Colmery method made to the time it takes to clean going forward. I did the 30 days to spring tidying challenge, the Colmery method. I think it was two years ago now, so not last year, but the year before. And last year, because it was my first year doing the deep cleaning challenge, the cleaning still took a little bit longer. But this year, because I've done the tidying challenge and the deep cleaning challenge in prior years, it seems to be going by really quickly and the cleaning seems to be a lot lighter. There's just not as much dust that's accumulated over one year versus before when I hardly ever deep cleaned anything. So there was a lot of dust kind of like on top of um, the track that our barn door slides on. That track had a ton of dust um, the year before. This year was a bit better. So I can already see gradual improvements based on work I've done in prior years. So that's been really, really nice. It's been interesting and not surprising, but at the same time, it is a realization that I hadn't thought of before. I'm really excited about my dinner tonight. I'm having some steamed rice, which I did form into a little dome. I've got this preserved bean curd that's just out of a jar. So something um, I used to eat all the time as a little girl. My dad used to eat it too. It's kind of like a condiment, very pungent, um, very flavorful. So a little goes a long way. I went to a Chinese barbecue restaurant and got to practice my Chinese. I ordered half a soy sauce chicken. The chicken is underneath. And then I also ordered some barbecue pork and I made a little watercress soup. I just used the Atomy flavor packets from the noodles that um, we like dry fried and so we reserved the flavor packets for other things. I really like using them for soup and I also like using them to season my tofu. Hey everyone, I'm having my first meal of the day. I already had a smoothie. It is push week at the writing studio which means um, there are a whole bunch of writing sessions sprinkled throughout the day. I haven't been going to that many of them but I do try to pop in every now and then and I've been really loving the silent writing time at noon so I'll work on my book from noon to 1 p.m. and that feels very very good. I made a smoothie before the session and I have finished it already so now I'm just having the Chinese bun that I love. This is so delicious I just I love everything about it. The texture, the dryness, the sweetness. I love it. So I'm going to be finishing this. I just had 
our last ginseng. Hubby still has his, but this is going to be the last one that I'll be taking this year. And I'm very curious to see whether my energy level falls. The flip side though is that we're going to be heading into spring very, very soon in 20 days or so. So I'm hoping that um, that excitement and that anticipation will lead me to have more energy even if the effects of the ginseng wear off. So I think I'm going to end off the vlog here. I have been keeping up with the cleaning challenge. Let me just grab the calendar. Today, Wednesday, is day seven and I have officially finished all the cleaning in the bedroom so I am pretty much right on schedule with the addition that I've already cleaned the locker which I had scheduled in for day 17. So I am um, about a day ahead and tomorrow I'm gonna be tackling the living room. I'm gonna try to do... Hi Lulu! <laughs> Lulu's playing on the couch by herself. She's kind of like rubbing her face in the pillows and such but when I said hi to her she stopped. But tomorrow I'm going to be tackling the far end of the living room. I'm going to be doing the windows at a minimum. And I'm also hoping to clean the tables or shelving where all of the plants are. So tomorrow is going to be quite a big job, but I am mostly off from the writing studio. And Hubby's going to be home as well because he has the day off. So I figured he could help me move the shelves so I could reach the windows with the ladder. I cleaned the windows in the bedroom today and they actually weren't too bad. There were sections that I had never cleaned before because Truffle's playpen used to be there and last year I didn't move his playpen that much to clean the window area. I just cleaned the windows in the living room last year. The only area that was really really dirty was the window that opens to the outside and because we live in downtown Toronto there's a lot of dust and dirt that um, got into the window not into the condo but into like the nooks and crannies of the window that opens so that was definitely the dirtiest part and the part that took up the most time but otherwise i got everything done in about an hour or so so that's not too bad at all i would say overall the bedroom was pretty easy this year and as we move into the living room it's probably going to be a bit more time consuming but i still have 23 days of cleaning left to go so i'm pretty confident i'll be able to do it all in that time time frame. That's going to be it for this vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. We are already heading into March. My next vlog will be probably in mid-March and I will see you all very soon for much more cleaning before the first day of spring. Bye!